Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerocraft, and welcome back once again to another Minecraft video, and finally to another tutorial since like forever. Today I'm going to start things off simple. I'm going to be showing you how to build your very own desert house for your deserting, surviving, needings. <laughs> Perfect English, but whatever. Right guys, so this is going to be rather complicated since I haven't done a tutorial video in ages. But anyway, um, we're going to start with some smooth sandstone, we're going to just basically create the outline. Um, don't get confused by this, this is just my guideline. So this is going to be the entrance, one block gap of course, and we're going to raise these pillars four blocks. So that's one, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. Corner block, one, two, three, four. Same over here, one, two, three, four. Then we have a three block gap on each side, so one, two, three, four, over to this side, one, two, three, and four. The gaps are going to be filled in using some chiseled, chiseled sandstone, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, um, that looks huge, but uh, it'll get covered up and it'll, it will look fine once it's done. So um, fill this in again. And then use some normal sandstone to fill in the two gaps above the door. So that is a start. Also, we're going to add some more pillars across the front from this pillar. So one, two, three, four. Do the same over here. One, two, three, four. And one more time right in front of this last pillar. And that's going to act like some sort of extra support, a bit of extra detail. I mean, whatever you guys make out of it, to be honest. Um, let's make our way around the back. We're going to fill in uh, this gap here using some chiseled sandstone again. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one more time. Fill that in and then place another pillar using some smooth sandstone. One, two, three, and four. Now we're also oh crap. <laughs> now we're also going to add an extra two pillars in front of this wall, except they're only going to be three blocks in height. So once again, using some um, smooth sandstone, we're going to place one, two, three blocks in front of this pillar. And over here, instead of placing it in front of this pillar, we're going to push it in one block, and then it's going to be one, two, three. So just like that. Um, over here, again, we're going to have another two block gap. But this time we're going to raise the pillar five blocks. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. That's because there's going to be a balcony way up here. Let me just change the time. Um, we're going to have another three block gap. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three, four, five block pillar. Another three block gap. One, two, three, four, five. Then a corner block. One, two, three, four, five. A two block gap with one, two, two, three, four, five. Then, hmm, let's make our way to this corner, just not to confuse you. We're going to place a corner block, and it's going to be one, two, three, four blocks. A three block gap, again, one, two, three, and four blocks. Now, across the back of the building, we're going to fill up the gaps using some, let's see, sandstone. Now, the sandstone is going to be pushed in an extra block, leaving a gap between both pillars. So um, if I just place this over here, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as you can see, we have um, a wall which has been pushed in an extra block. Fill this in as well. Over here, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just make sure you leave a one block gap at the top because we're going to have a balcony just like that. Over here, same again. That's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And over here, one last time. And over here, we're going to go back to some chisel, chisel sandstone. Can't say that word properly. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So that that is pretty much the outline for the first floor. 
Right guys, so let's continue with some stair blocks. We're going to be placing them on top of these three pillars. So that's one, two and three. We're also going to place them over here. That's one and two. Place some upside down stair blocks right behind the stair blocks we just placed. And then again, stair blocks on top of the upside down stair blocks. So confusing to explain. But anyway, very repetitive. Let's place some upside down stair blocks right behind the pillars over here. And then I believe we're going to grab some smooth sandstone once again. And we're going to place a three block pillar on top of the upside down stairs. So that's one, two and three. One, two and three. One, two and three. Over by the entrance we're also going to place some upside down stair blocks to create an archway. Make sure you just have a one block gap along the top here, which we're going to fill in with some normal sandstone. Now we're going to continue with the upside down stair blocks. Just place one block right in the middle of this wall. Then we're going to place them on each pillar, just making your way around the building until you reach this corner. We're not going to continue any further. Now on top of each of the upside down stair blocks, we're going to place a block of smooth sandstone. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now over here, there's going to be a staircase down to the ground. So let's just build the staircase. One stair block, then upside down stair blocks underneath. And just basically make your way across until you finish the staircase on the ground. Place a full block right underneath there. And that is the staircase up to the balcony. Now we're going to go around the top edge of this building just using some oak wood slab. So one block, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just make your way around the top edge of the building. Over here just place one, two, then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And finally one, two and three. So that's looking a lot better. We're just going to continue up to the second floor. But before that, let's just fill up this entire gap using some normal sandstone. So let's just do that quickly. So that should be a lot easier to work with. Right guys, on with the second floor. We're going to grab some normal sandstone and as from this pillar, we're going to bring this all the way across. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks like so. We're going to extend this pillar an extra three blocks as well. So that's one, two, and three. Now actually these stair blocks need to be placed upside down. So remove one and two and place them upside down. We're also going to place an upside down stair block right in the center. Now this will allow us to place an extra three beams which will be two blocks in height using some smooth sandstone. One, two, one, two, and one, two. In between the upside down stair blocks, we're going to place some extra oak wood slabs. So one, two, and one, two. And then just finally finish off with uh, by filling up the back wall using some, some normal sandstone. Just like that. Now again, we're going to grab some fence. We're going to continue by placing them on top of the oak wood slab to create the balcony. So that's one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one last block of fence right here uh, just before reaching the staircase. So that would be the balcony. Now obviously we do need to finish the second floor wall, so let's just continue using some smooth sandstone. We're going to place a pillar right behind this fence block, so that's one, two, and three. We're going to have a three block gap, so count across one, two, three, and then another pillar, so that's one, two, three blocks in height. We're going to have a two block gap, one, two, three, followed by another two block gap, one, two, three. And again, another two block gap. So one, two, and three. So make sure you've copied that off correctly. It's a three block gap, followed by a corner two block gap, two block gap, another two block gap, and another two block gap. So uh, 
Yeah, I hope you don't get confused with this. It shouldn't be too complicated, to be honest. But um, again, grabbing some s normal sandstone. We're just going to fill up this back wall. Um, that's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, you could decide to basically continue across. Or you could leave a one block gap on the inside. Just basically giving you some extra space to add some storage. Or whatever it is you're going to be using that gap for. So I would just leave it like so. Over here, we're going to just build it across. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Same over here by this corner. Just basically fill this in like that. Now, I believe that final back wall is going to be pushed in a block further. So just basically fill that in like so. And over here, we're going to have a double door entrance. So you might as well just place... Just basically fill that in so it doesn't mess up the doors. So uh, yeah, that would be the second floor outline complete. Now using some upside down stair blocks, we're going to basically create an outline across the top, which will basically create some outline, uh, some outline, some archways, which will make it look a bit more Arabic, I guess. So just place them like so, creating some archways, and you're going to fill up the gap between both stair blocks using some oak wood slab just like that now over here we're going to do the same but obviously we don't have space for the oak wood slab so we're just going to place the stair blocks together like that do the same on the last two remaining spaces over here stair blocks just like that to create some archways so that is pretty much it for stair blocks i believe um, apart from the roof, where we do need to go back to some more stair blocks, I'm afraid. Um, we're going to place some normal sandstone blocks on top of each of these pillars, just like this. So just place them on top of each of the smooth sandstone pillars. And then using some stair blocks, we're going to create... A kind of castle like outline which is pretty simple just basically stack them across like this creating a sort of castle looking Arabic style thing as you can see isn't that magical <laughs> anyway just to finish off the roof you're gonna basically fill up this entire gap using some normal sandstone and we should be just about complete with this Arabic style desert house. Right guys, we are almost done here. Just some extra detailing, windows, doors, fence, definitely a lot of fence. But first, let's just finish off this overhang piece thing, shade, whatever you want to call it. Just basically use some oak wood slab and create some steps, bring it all the way across until you reach basically this level um, just two blocks further from the stair block over here and then using some fence we're gonna create the the thing okay it's called a thing just basically make your way around the building filling up these gaps with some fence just add some extra detailing to the building um, bring some fence across here just beside the stairs also add a door obviously for an entrance again some more fence over here and you can place a fence gate right in the center um, fill up this gap as well you can bring this across um, I mean it's pretty much a lot a lot of stuff you can do here um, that looks a lot nicer as it is obviously we need to add a bunch of windows as you can see from the original building I would add two windows right in the front over here like that, two blocks in height. I'd also add a window right in the center over here. You could make it two blocks in height. Um, this one's actually slightly different. And I've actually noticed that this top bit right here is actually some, some normal sandstone. I mean, it doesn't make much of a difference, but um, actually follows on with this bit over here. Um, so again, some extra windows. One over here, I guess. Um, another window over here. Um, one over here, totally random, um, I'm not too sure if these actually have windows, yep, they do, 
Don't forget the double door entrance right at the top over here. Right as the that's the entrance to the balcony basically. I'm pretty sure I did add another door over here as well. Um, you know you could add some storage and actually a very important um, bit of detail is actually some brown carpet. I just think it makes it look a lot nicer. Um, a lot of these Arabic style houses have a bunch of carpets and rags everywhere so um, this would make it look a lot nicer. You could put one over here as well just like that um, I'm pretty sure. That's what I did on this building as you can see. Oh yes and there's also this overhang bit um, over here because I thought this looked a bit weird so um, just basically oops add two blocks of um, fence like that and then just bring this across till it meets up with the fence pillar so that should be pretty much it for the Arabic style house um, hmm, extra windows over here <laughs> why not Right guys, now I'm not going to go into too much detail when it comes to interior, but I'll show you what I did with this house just to give you a rough idea of what you can do. Uh, first thing you could do is the flooring. It's actually a mixture of sandstone, wood and some yellow carpet. Um, you know, I, again, I haven't gone into too much detail when it comes to the interior, but um, just to give you an idea of the kind of space you have, etc. This is the second floor, which obviously would be the dormitory kind of thing. Uh, balcony over here and obviously everything has access with um, ladders so that is the roof. So again it's not a massive house but it's quite a nice Arabian style desert house for your desert towns and cities I suppose. So anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. I would much appreciate it if you do and stay tuned for more videos coming up soon. So again thank you for watching. This is Jerocraft. Over and out.